I will argue Bitcoin's number one. Ethereum's a pretty big step down. We can debate that sometime. Maybe we should. Um, yeah. And then I think there's a bunch of other stuff. I, I'm, I'm still not convinced, and I'm willing to be convinced, that proof of stake is as secure as, as proof of work. But, but that's probably because I don't, it could be that I just don't understand the technology well enough to, but that, that's my view that proof of work is at least one order of magnitude more secure than proof of stake. In his latest interview on BlockWorks Macro, investor and hedge fund manager, Mark Yusko, is sharing his view on global liquidity and his optimistic outlook for Bitcoin. Later in the video, he discusses ordinals and developments on Bitcoin. Stay to the end of the video and listen carefully when Mark shares his perspective why he believes Bitcoin is digital gold. We will bring you the highlights of this interview, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video to get the best insights. If you enjoy crypto and finance content consider subscribing and liking the video. To support our channel you find a couple of great offers from our partners in the video description, check them out. The big parabolic, the crazy FOMO, you know, the like the NVIDIA thing, holy moly. But we'll get to that. Um, that doesn't happen till fall, right? Summer kind of leading up to the halving is more choppy with an upward drift. Whereas, you know, winter is down. Spring is kind of choppy with no real up or down. You know, summer is choppy with, you know, more of an upward bias. And then fall, you get the, the parabolic blow off top. So you know, I, I think we're, we're definitely there. Um, look, I'm, I'm optimistic about a, a lot of things. Their measure of global liquidity has turned up pretty sharply. Now, most of that's China, but not all of it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a bunch mm -hmm. of other central banks that have backed off the, the hiking cycle. And I don't know. It's interesting. Now, are there still problems? Cool. Real estate, problems. Commercial real estate, like office real estate, there's some there's some pain coming. I mean, I, I'm I'm a perfect example. Now, my pain's 18 months away, but there's zero probability I'm renewing my lease in 18 months. Zero. Nope. It's money. Bitcoin is money. Mm. It's money. Money is an asset that exists in the absence of a liability. Gold. It's digital gold. What does gold do? Sits at the base layer of money. There's gold in America. There's Fedwire. There's ACH, Visa, et cetera. Okay. That's what Bitcoin is. We're not going to use. Well, I shouldn't say not. It's going to take time to go from the being the base layer of money, better money, to actually, you know, we exchange sats uh, because that's all anybody uses. That's going to take time. We're, we're going to live in a, in a fiat and Bitcoin world first, and Bitcoin is going to become the digital base layer. And then we'll use things like Lightning and others to move to move sats or, or strike, right, which I love. Um, full disclosure, an investor. And, um, but the ordinals is, is cool. I mean, it, it's very cool. And it's, it's a great example of innovation, right? I mean, there's an, there's an opportunity. Someone innovates, someone sees an opportunity, says, you know what? If I have a really valuable asset, right? I have a, I have the digital Van Gogh or digital Matisse, where do I want to store that? I don't want to store it where it can be stolen or hacked. I want to store it where it's safe, secure. What's the safest, most secure computing network the world has ever known? The Bitcoin blockchain. I'll argue Bitcoin's number one. Ethereum's a pretty big step down. We can debate that sometime. Maybe we should. Um, yeah. And then I think there's a bunch of other stuff. I, I'm, I'm still not convinced, and I'm willing to be convinced, that proof of stake is as secure as, as proof of work. But, but that's probably because I don't, it could be that I just don't understand the technology well enough to, but that, that's my view that proof of work is 
at least one order of magnitude more secure than proof of stake. I hear the maxis drone on and and I just I just ignore the 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 nonsense of it, the the toxic part of it because look, if if capital I capital F, if you can show me how you overcome the the things that you spoke of and build DeFi on the Bitcoin blockchain, build layer three and layer four like Fedwire, ACH, Visa on Bitcoin, fine. Then we can have one chain to rule all chains, right? The Sauron of, of, of crypto. Um, fine. But we don't have that yet. And I'm still in this, you know, we've talked about this. I got, I got three mental models. I got the current stack in Web2, TCPIP, FTP, SMTP, HTTP, www. that ties it all together. Okay. Maybe we replicate that. Bitcoin, Filecoin, Ethereum is this amazing toolkit. It just is. Lots of stuff being built. What's SMTP? What's HTTP? HTTP? I, I, I struggle with that part. Then you got the, oh, no, no, no. There's all these L1s. We're going to bridge them. We're going to have interoperability. Lots of attack vectors. Uh, maybe, maybe someone can technologically secure it. And maybe with the 3PU chip from Chain Reaction, maybe you can, you can have that work. I don't know. But the, the Bitcoin to rule all coins and Bitcoin lightning, where's my L3? Where's my L4? And, but I'm open, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that there's lots of interesting things being built in Ethereum. There's lots of interesting talent. Thank you for watching. Check out the next video to get more insights into the crypto markets.